Welcome to GBA TV, home of the Girls Basketball Association, GBA Facebook Live, and the GBA Podcast. In the game since 2003. Now let's join the guys live. All right, GBA Nation, welcome back, GBA Studios. We're once again we're in the in the in the office here, and we're uh, recording with some uh, podcasts and special guests. We have uh, Jeff Ferguson here at the table with us, Tommy Strasser, and always behind the scenes is Caleb Graham on the video. The best in the business. And guys, this is the President's Day, Monday, February 18th, and we are very honored and excited to have Mr. Brent Hill joining us on the podcast today. Mr. Hill, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, guys. Thanks for having me. Good. Let's hear it here for Brent. Yeah, all right. Good to see us. We appreciate that, taking time out of the day and coming and talking to us. How are things in the Cincinnati, Lawrenceburg, Indiana area? Oh, uh, they're fine. A little bit chilly, but doing well. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, we we are ready for spring. Yeah, we are too. Well, just um, well, you know, we're going to we know uh, you know we're in our fourth year of the Lauren Hill Classic. Um, we're very excited about that. It's been the same weekend. We've had great success with with the event. Um, you know, and and. We're, we're we're just want to talk a little bit about that, and um, you know, Jeff, I, I know you had had some questions. Kind of want to lead us off here. Yeah, first of all, Brent, thanks for uh, for joining us today, and You're it's been great over the last last uh, you know three or four years to get to know yourself and Lisa and the family, and 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 to give us the privilege and honor to be able to host host the tournament. Um, each year, it's continued to grow, and uh, we couldn't be more thrilled and and, and honored to be able to, to, to keep the fight alive and keep uh, uh, Lauren's name out there and, uh, and, and helping what little bit we can with the tournament. And Jeff, I got to tell you, I mean, the family, we can't be more honored for you guys to be doing this in Lauren's name. It's just an absolute wonderful event every year. Yeah, we, we appreciate it. We, we all take pride the whole, I mean, we're kind of a family-based business. And uh, basically, my mom's at the door, and my sister and my brothers are on the courts with family, and so it's kind of that you know it's a it's a family atmosphere, and and we know your family is the same, and and you know we appreciate um, just the opportunity, and it's and the the basically GBA Nation and the teams and everything by far it's our biggest tournament that we've ever done, and um, and it just continues to grow, so we definitely appreciate that, and you know with with that being said, we're in year four now. And uh, I think we've raised sixty four thousand dollars. So we're hoping, hoping this year to get you know to get another twenty to twenty five thousand dollars, and then hopefully in year five be able to hit that hundred thousand dollar mark. So we're pretty excited uh, yeah, about that. Awesome. Um, do you want to basically tell us a little bit, maybe what is going on, um, you know, with the cure, and and you know what you know of anything anything new going on, um, anything else in in Lauren's name that's that's that's. Uh, that's going on right now. I know I've seen the Panera. Panera uh, has right. given a dollar yeah. for the macaroni and cheese stuff now. Um, I've seen the um, the five k run or walk that they're doing. Some of the other things and just uh, you know what what is going on now and anything changed since the last time we've talked. Um, just you know, kind of fill us in a little bit. Whatever you may know or uh, you know can can, yeah, can share with um, us. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, spring and summer is our busy season. Uh, we definitely have the run coming up in June. Uh, we will also have a golf tournament. We have one every year. Um, usually that's in the July range. We haven't started planning for it yet, but that will be uh, probably popping up here on Facebook pretty soon. Uh, we'll start putting that together. Uh, the Cure Starts Now has their annual gala here in Cincinnati in May, which is a absolutely huge event. Um, they raise a ton of money for these kids, and all that money goes to research. Uh, so that's something we really look forward to every year. Now, Brent, uh, so many teams uh, come to Cincinnati to play in the Lauren Hill Classic to honor her name. Well, this year is even more special because in May, Lauren's name is once again going to be honored on a special weekend going into the Hall of Fame, and would you like to uh, touch on that and the great honor it is in her memory, but the families as well? Yeah, we got a phone call in the uh, fall this last year uh, that they were going to recognize her and put her into the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame, uh, which is a great honor for the family. 
Um, and I'm sure Lauren is absolutely ecstatic about it uh, because this is just one more way to keep her name alive and keep her vision out there in front of new people. Um, so people will be able to come through the Hall of Fame and read her story and know about all this. It's just, it's really a wonderful thing for the family. And hey, congratulations uh, on that. We are thrilled to hear Thank about you. that. And Brent, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people and I say it all the time. This is this has become my favorite event that we do uh, just because of what it uh, what it means, what it brings everybody together. And, you know, even here on our on our podcast table, we have we have the trophy in our bobblehead. I don't know if you could see that or not, but we got the yeah, bobble, awesome. we got the bobblehead sitting right here. And and, uh, it, you know, it's become one of our favorite events. So with that being said, you know, can you. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe what, what this event means to you and the family? Well, I mean, just being able to touch all these girls, all the kids, it's just absolutely amazing because that was something Lauren loved to do. Uh, that was ingrained in her DNA. Um, she was always the first one to welcome a new kid to school. Um, she was always there for all of her friends. She was just very outgoing, very friendly, and she loved to help the kids. And then obviously when she got sick, it just became even more of a mission for her to be able to do this and to just do things for the children. She wasn't worried about herself through most of this. At least she never told us she was. And it was all about the kids for her. And just to know that all these girls come in and they play basketball under her name and they learn her story, it's just, it's just an amazing thing. It, it truly is, and 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 it kind of goes, you know, the event and and how things have have progressed with that, and the you know each year the event has grown, and like you said, the kids come in and and they know that they've done some, you know, you talk to coaches and you talk to to parents and they've done some research. If if they didn't know Lauren's name, they knew when they got there to play, um, you know, and they would have, you know, socks and T-shirts and different things that they would they would get made for that event, and it's 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 turned into, uh, you know, not just a tournament but an event. Um, you know, it's a great, great atmosphere for everybody involved. And, and uh, we are very honored at GBA to be able to, to host this event for her. It's an awesome thing, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and it's a, to, see, to see she's still touching, touching lives and touching kids and, and, and making a difference. And when the coaches pull them aside, you know, on their last practice before they come, to the tournament, you know, uh, several coaches have told me, you know, we try to stress this too, to, to keep the keep, you know, her honor alive and her vision on what she wanted to do and fight for the cure. And uh, they sit down and a lot of them, you know, tell them the story. You know, they tell the kids the story, especially the younger kids maybe that, and, you know, it's, it's three or four years, but, you know, it's still fresh in all their minds and they come and like you said, they're all, they're all wearing their own t-shirts, they're wearing their own socks and, and different things. So it's just awesome. For, for what your daughter um, did and, and continues to do is just amazing. We appreciate that you let us be part of that. We're continue to work hard on our end uh, to continue to, to, to keep her the fight alive and, and, and honor her wishes and, and continue to try to find a cure for, uh, uh, for, for this disease. So, yep. I look forward to many more years of this, guys. This is just a wonderful event. Yeah, well, we definitely appreciate some time. We just wanted to grab you for a minute. Um, we take enough of your time, and I think that this year we're going to do a little different because it's the uh, the Hall of Fame weekend is the same weekend as our Lauren Hill Classic. So we'll do like an opening ceremonies. Hopefully, to have you and Coach and whoever else can be there, uh, come in and speak, um, and uh, to get the to get the tournament started this year. I think that would be a new twist and would be fun, and uh, we're excited to have you back for year four. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Mr. Hill, thank thanks you again for taking the time and joining us. And and um, like I said, this is this is one of our favorite events here at GBA, and we're excited and can't can't wait to get uh, get to May. Thanks, guys. If you need anything, just get a hold of me. We will, and we appreciate all your all your help already. Take care. No problem. Thanks, thanks again. You thank you. Bye. Bye. That was good.